everybody. It's Dan and Mindfire, the Bristol Bane server, coming at you today with a little bit of an off-color guide here on how to use some external programs. Today, we're going to be talking about Game Parse. Now, first of all, before I begin on any of these programs that I'm covering in the next couple videos, these programs are completely acceptable by EQ. They do not break the ULA. They are not form of hacking. They do not modify your gameplay in any shape or form at all. So first things first, let's look at Game Parse. Game Parse is a log search tool that basically takes a look at your log file that's generated by EverQuest and just crunches the numbers, does the math for you so you can figure out what your damage per second is, your heals per second, or your tanking data, anything like that that you might be interested in, in figuring out. Okay, Now let me just say that any data that you have seen on the forums about you know how certain mechanics of the game work a lot of that almost 90 percent of that has come from parsing programs like this a lot of the people out there that are posting guides on how to do dps of certain classes or spell lineups or anything like that have used programs like this to check their data and to check their overall damage to make sure that it's accurate coming from the game another note before i begin if you ever see a parse from another player that parse will never be accurate for you okay the only accurate parse data that is ever going to exist for you is your own data there are several factors that play into calculating parse data lag distance latency anything like that so let's say i'm parsing a, a raid mob okay let's say i'm parsing trying to figure out wh what's going on who's doing what for damage you know who's hit landing those big heavy hits all right, let's take my friend Ragnaroth over here. He's up front. He's beating the shit out of this combat dummy over there. La da da. But I'm standing here in the back, just cal you know, calmly nuking away, doing my thing. I won't see a hundred percent of Ragnaroth's data that is coming to his screen. I will only see a little bit here. You know, his critical hits, his whatever else. Some of it will be, it'll be mostly accurate, but it won't be 100% accurate. This goes doubly so for necros and, and shamans. If you are a damage over time class, period, you need to be running your own parses to figure out accurate data, as dots work a little bit differently in terms of damage than other classes. Now, let's, speak, let's talk about how to use this wonderful program. First things first, you go ahead and download the program from the link that I'm going to give you in the description below. Then you go into EverQuest and you type slash log on. Okay. Hit enter. It'll say logging to EQ log text is now on. Now you are sitting there collecting data. Anything that comes to your screen in any window is now being saved to a text file in your EverQuest directory. Now, let's uh, open up let's open up Game Parse, which I've already done, and let's tell the Game Parse what to look for. So you go into file and then you click I wouldn't go entire log file. I'd go like last 24 hours or anything like that. So you click that. It'll bring up a window. You tell uh, Game Parse where your logs are. So find your EverQuest directory on your computer. For everybody, it's different. I don't know where you guys all installed your directories. So you're just going to have to find it on your own. Find your directory. Inside your directory, there's going to be a little folder called logs. Click on that. Find the log file for the character you're running. So for me, it's Danden underscore Bristol. It'll say something like character name underscore server dot txt. So go ahead, find that, hit enter. It'll load it up for you. And what kind of data do we have on here? Well, let's take a look. On the left-hand side, you'll have a fight navigator. This will stay there throughout all these different options and stuff. You'll be able to click through the different fights. You'll be able to see what I've been fighting. So I just recently went and did a D.O.N. raid for a couple friends of mine. So I went and we killed some vengeful spirits and a bunch of other random stuff. But you'll be able to see stuff from like raids the night before and all this other fun stuff. So let's go to like Danella Icewind because that's not really a huge DPS fight and people won't get all upset. So click on this guy right here. Make sure it's highlighted blue. Click over to overview. It'll bring up like, you know, parse data for everybody. So You'll be able to see who the top players were. It'll be sorted by da total damage, which is how I have mine sorted. You'll be able to click. So I'm Danden, obviously, so I'm going to take a look at mine. And it'll, be able, it'll show you my total damage, my percent of the total hit points that I caught. Okay, now let me speak, get this straight again. I didn't catch everything of this fight because the way this raid works, I'm not really going to get into it. I didn't catch everything, so... Uh, it'll show you what my DPS was, my scale DPS. There's two different numbers for this. Uh, my DPS here will show you like my uh, average DPS, scaled DPS, 
takes my total damage and divides it by the time. There is a forum user by the name of Behemoth, a wizard that has taken over um, making this program and modifying it as the original creator and writer doesn't play Q anymore. So Behemoth had, has gone and made uh, Game Parse version 1.04. I personally, not a fan, but uh, other other players like it. You know, whatever. It, it's good. You know, I'm, I'm glad that somebody's taken over. That's great. So you can go into this next tab here and go to the player DPS. You can click at each person and, and it'll have a, a basic overview of what they've done. Their damage, their damage by type, uh, and it'll break it down into all these cool little categories here. So you can see, oh, well, just kind of curious as what my, uh, my, what my max critical hit was. So my max critical hit, where is that? My max normal hit, I guess, was 108k. My max critical hit, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, you can find it there. Go ahead and, sp and break it down a little bit further. You can go to the Spells and Discipline tabs. Again, this is only accurate for me, but if I'm standing close to a player like Barper or whatever else, I can take a look at what they were casting, when they cast it in the time signature here. You can copy all this stuff to forums and HTML and all this fun stuff, so just take a look at here. It's so like... For example, I can send my summary of my player DPS to EQ, I can send the overview to EQ, I can send the take tanking data to EQ. Um, tanking data is really nice. Uh, let's go into Kanjin's tanking data here. So you can see what his damage was here, what kind of what his average hits was. Now obviously guys, this is like a mock parse. This isn't real. So Kanjin, if you're watching this video, bro, this isn't a real parse, alright? This is just a mock. Um, you can go ahead and take a look at what your dodge rate was and all that fun stuff. You can take a look at all this cool stuff that's there. I'm not going to really explain graphing, but you can pretty much graph any aspect of data that comes into the screen. You can take a look at it as a pie chart, some pretty visual data if you really like that. Um, healing parses. I'm just going to stop and take a moment here for a second. Tanks. Tanks, this one's for you guys. We all love you. We all love our meat shields. You need to parse, bro, please. Um, healers really like to know what their heals were like, how much total healing they did. And it's just, just as much of a competition between the healers to see who healed for more as it is for a DPS class to find out who did more damage. We all know DPS cl classes like to sit back and be like, huh, I nuked this mob for like 200k, I'm awesome. Well, give the clerics some love, yo. Get Let those druids know that they're there, you know. And also, it's a really good resource to know, you know, what players are healing you, you know, who's got your back, you know, who, who's got you. So, again, this only really uh, shows data that he who healed you for what or whatever else. Um, live fights, this is just a tab that uh, re it relates to another part of the plugin that I don't have running. It basically, like, if I was to start a battle right now, it would show, like, m the total damage of that's that the parser has seen, the total DPS the parser has seen my total damage, my DPS, it'll show who the tank was, all their damage, the la you know, all this fun stuff. So basically this is just, you know, something to see that's live, okay? Another thing is if you're parsing and let's say you just went and killed a huge raid boss and it's all kicking ass and you're trying to link that raid parse, you're trying to, and it, it just it's not showing up on this list on the left, click on this live fight tab, see if the game is just, you know, just still calculating that damage. And sometimes there's a little bit of a delay in between the parser and and, and and what actually just happened because it has to sit back and figure it out. If you're a melee class, you can take a look at dodge mods. You can uh, go through the log search and search for specific keywords like, you know, let's say you wanted to find out what uh, what Zilla God had to say about Danden last Friday night. You can you can take a look at that if you like. Uh, if you if you like, you know, monitoring loot for your guild, if you're, you know, sitting back and doing that, you can definitely do that with this program. You can take a look at who looted what, when, where, why. So you know, it helps clear up confusion as to, you know, player X looted the diamond, you know, that they weren't supposed to loot or whatever else. You know, you can figure out a lot of cool stuff. You can take a look at the chat logs and whatever else. But now that we're here, we're going to go into options. Okay. Guys, options in this program are almost as important as everything else. Okay. First things first, while we're talking options, let's go into EQ and, and go into uh, the options window. And let's go under filters. If you want to be parsing and you want to pick up as much data as possible, set all these to show. Show everything. Because basically that tells the game that you want to receive data on everything. If you have a slower machine or uh, a crappy laptop, as Girthy is saying in, in guild chat there, um, 
you can set all this stuff to show yours only or whatever else just to reduce that lag a little bit while you're playing because you know we all hate lag we're all gamers we all hate it so set it to whatever works for you I can handle being able to show all the data that comes in um, but if you can't set it to, sh to showing only yours okay um, then you go into keys okay and you basically want to find paste or uh, copy from clipboard or whatever else so it's uh, where is it um, <laughs> I don't really know where it is in here. I'll have to find it. Oh, it might be under paste from clipboard. So basically, find the command paste from clipboard. It'll be in here somewhere. I'm not going to waste my time trying to find it. And set a key command. Mine is like control alt b so because it's really close to uh, what the actual Windows command is to use. And basically, you can set um, this program to auto send data for you. Now, how to do that? Well, let's take a look at the general options. So, default battle timeout, I have it set as, as 60 seconds, so a minute. So, if, I, if we're not fighting for a minute or whatever else, it'll just kill the fight. Say, you know, whatever, you know, you guys stop fighting and the game will think, you, the parser will think you stop fighting and it'll cut the parse short. A lot of guys like tighter parses, so they'll, they'll set this delay shorter. All these are in seconds, okay? I have it set to discard fights if they're less than 5,000 damage because honestly I don't really care about parsing gray mobs I mean some people like it but I don't I'm not a fan uh, set your output channel I just messed this up while I was playing around with it so my output channel is slash G I want to tell the group what I'm doing uh, the separator uh, is just the the character in between um, what uh, each player so if I'm on the parse and my friend Barper he's on the parse too it'll separate us with that character there It'll show the top number of players. I have it set to show the top 10, you know, because top 10 lists are awesome. Uh, so I have all these checked. I'd recommend it. Um, now we get into the auto send to EQ options. And this means that this program will automatically copy whatever the last fight that you just did if it meets these restrictions. So I, I like having it send everything. I want to know everything that's happening. So I have it set to auto send to a. a for a thousand damage if you're one of those types that only wants to show the big fights only set it to like a million or whatever else um, and then click enable to auto send to EQ do not click this play sound when copied it is god awful annoying okay I hate it <laughs> it's annoying um, and then you can change you can set other stuff like uh, send plain text options and stuff pet options auto combine pets okay and I'll explain this um, for example um, Mage pets, like mage swarm pets, it'll be like Barper's pet. It'll automatically add those to his thing. But like, because everybody has different pet names now and stuff, in order to get it to t to combine their pets with them, uh, you have to target their pet and click the leader button in the pet window or type slash pet who leader to uh, tell the, you basically need to send a log of, of text telling um, the game, telling the log file whose pet is whose. Okay. I honestly don't really get a chance to use this very much because I'm a channer, so I don't use the ch my 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 normal pet very often. But you can go ahead in the individual fight under the overview and, and change that out. Oops. Um, but basically, the lovely little thing about this parser is you can look for almost anything. You can take a look at almost any mathematical value in the game that comes through, and that's honestly where a lot of the stuff came through. If you guys have any questions about setting up your parser, downloading, troubleshooting anything that doesn't work post in the comments below post it on the force uh, the forums below as always guys like comment and share this video if you liked what was been uh, what was inside and we'll see you all next time